Is This a Great State or What? is sponsored by Weoki. We got you, Oklahoma. Well, he claims to have written 5,000 songs and played for the likes of Diana Ross and Smokey Robinson. And this evening, Galen Culver has the story of a unique household in Chickasha where music and art come together in all kinds of unique ways. A lot of good stuff was happening for us. The pictures on the wall offer some insight. Marvin Gaye. Marvin Gaye, yeah, Marvin Gaye. Mel Bolton and his wife may help each other fill in the chords of an extensive musical history. Uh, Diana Ross. Diana Ross. Uh, Matt. Rita Franklin. Aretha Franklin, she, she do them all, I don't. Yeah. Stevie and Marvin Gaye and Diana, Diana Ross, Ross and Smokey Robinson. Pretty much all of them. Mel learned his first guitar chords from his mom, but by the time he moved to Detroit, he was ready to record with Motown. Things worked out for me. I practiced all the time. He moved with Motown to L.A. and enjoyed a nice career as a session man. But somebody knew me, wanted me to play my style of guitar on a certain uh, record, they would call me. Day. May came along later in Mel's life, but added her own verses to his songs. She's an expert quilter in her own right, but Mel noticed her singing. So long she joined the band song. playing to his tunes. I can make suggestions, but he going to do it his way regardless. The COVID pandemic slowed their musical careers a little bit, but Mel never stopped playing. And May never stopped quilting in her own patchwork. It's a mess, man. She's a mess, but I like it. Their house in Chickasha remains an artistic center. A colorful quilt made of cotton strings and steel. The music, all their own. In Chickasha, Galen Culver, News 4. Is this a great state or what? And Mel tells us he's done a lot of different jobs to help pay the bills, including law enforcement. He was police chief at Rose State in the early 90s and the chief in Clayton, Oklahoma, for a few years after that. And both still perform their music together.